everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about tooth enamel and how to remineralize your teeth. And before we jump in, let me quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the entire body. It's stronger than bone. And not to be morbid or anything, but that's why a lot of forensics experts use dental records to identify victims. It takes a lot to do damage to tooth enamel. Ironically though, it only covers the outer surface part of your tooth above the gums. The layer of the tooth underneath, the dentin, isn't nearly as strong. And unfortunately, the big thing that enamel isn't invincible to is bacteria and acids. That's why we get tooth decay. The good news news is that if you can catch tooth decay early enough, you can actually reverse it before you get a big cavity in your tooth. Now before I get ahead of myself, there's a big difference in remineralizing and regrowing tooth enamel. Anatomically speaking, it's physically impossible to regrow tooth enamel. The types of cells that enamel is made from do not reform or rebuild themselves. That's why dentists and hygienists always tell their patients that cavities don't get better on their own. But what you can do is remineralize weak enamel as it's starting to dry out, weaken, and just before it erodes into a hole into your tooth. And before we talk about how to do this, how to remineralize your teeth, it's important to understand what causes enamel erosion to begin with. What causes it is usually acids and bacteria. So we're talking about normal byproducts after eating and drinking, highly acidic diets, acid reflux disease, eating disorders, and other factors can all contribute to enamel erosion. And to prevent erosion, you can take the same exact steps that you would to remineralize your teeth. So I have eight tips for you to follow to re-strengthen your enamel and stop cavities in their tracks. Tip number one, brush and rinse with fluoride. Choose a toothpaste that contains fluoride and brush with it twice a day. When your teeth are clean, rinse with a fluoride mouthwash and don't eat or drink for at least 30 minutes so the fluoride in the mouthwash has time to soak into your enamel. Fluoride is the most important ingredient when it comes to putting minerals back into demineralized teeth. Tip number two, floss every day. Most demineralized areas start between your teeth where they touch side to side in between your teeth and brushing doesn't clean those spaces. So you need to disrupt the bacteria at least once a day, somehow, some way. And that somehow, some way is to floss, inner dental brush, and sometimes water floss too, depending on the patient. I always recommend for you to ask your dentist or your dental hygienist, which in between cleaning method is best for your individual mouth, your teeth. Tip number three, avoid sugary, starchy, and highly acidic foods. Snacking on crackers, chips, breads, or sipping on soda, sweet tea, flavored coffee, and all that good stuff can drastically increase acid levels in your mouth. Tip number four, drink more water. Water is a natural lubricant and cleanser. When you sip on water frequently throughout the day, you're rinsing away acids and bacteria inside your mouth. Also try to avoid bottled water as some of them actually have acidic pH levels. Instead, keep a reusable bottle and drink tap water since most municipal water systems have regulated fluoride levels. Tip number five, chew gum, but not just any gum. Pick a gum with an ingredient called xylitol. Xylitol helps prevent plaque buildup and actually interferes with dental plaque sticking to your teeth. With a few xylitol exposures during the day, you can significantly lower your oral bacteria levels. Tip number six, up your intake of calcium and other vitamins. Your teeth need calcium to form strong tooth enamel. So try to eat a balanced diet that's rich in whole grains and fresh vegetables, all the healthy stuff that contains calcium to lower dental plaque and improve overall health. Tip number seven, cut out the sugar. This is the one that everybody always talks about. We all are aware that sugar is bad for your teeth. And in the case of tooth erosion, sugar just naturally triggers it. When sugar goes in your mouth, your natural oral flora process the sugar and secretes an acid body byproduct. So if you eat sugar more frequently, you're at a higher risk of decay. This includes natural and artificial sweeteners. So even if your soda says it's sugar free, it's still going to be acidic. And finally, tip number eight, focus on your dairy intake. Eating things like sharp cheddar can actually help neutralize oral bacteria responsible for enamel demineralization, which is good. It helps prevent cavities. A neutral mouth is good. Plus cheddar is a good source of calcium as well. But watch out, not all dairy is created equal. Like if your daily dairy intake is coming from things like flavored yogurt, the natural and artificial sweeteners could be counteracting any benefits the yogurt had. But in all, when you follow all of these tips, you can stop cavities in their tracks and put minerals back into weak tooth enamel. No, you can't get a cavity to go back, but you can reverse the decay process as long as you take early action. For more information about how to determine whether a cavity is incipient decay or if it needs to get a filling, I'll link my dental 
little x-ray video in the bottom bar below. Oftentimes, x-rays are the only way to confirm whether or not you have a cavity in between your teeth. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did, and until next time, peace, love, and teeth.